guys good morning so I'm on my way to a hair appointment this morning I woke up at like 8 30 and I had this big liter of what I was gonna say wine <laughs> big liter of water like lemon water so I'm having my coffee a little bit later but it's okay I listen to my body I eat when I'm hungry I am on my way to get my hair done I love the color of my hair right now I really really do but my hair grows so fast because I've been I get a lot of questions okay well actually I actually I had a list um if you remember a few videos ago I was like my eyebrows have grown so much like I don't know what it's from like maybe it's the Egyptian magic and some of you guys commented and you're like it might be the collagen and I totally didn't even think of that because in my head like when I think about hair growth I always think about like the hair on my head I don't necessarily like put two and two together and think about my other hair but it's definitely a possibility but I've been drinking bulletproof coffee since consistently since May like every single day and I was getting some questions about if I thought that it helped me with my weight loss or like if I thought like it was worth it and honestly to that question and not in a snarky way I'm not meaning this to be snarky but it's not as you know doing bulletproof coffee does take a little bit of um, extra work it's not just uh, you know pressing a button on a cure you do have to get out all the stuff all the ingredients it is expensive because all the ingredients are kind of expensive for me it's well worth it for many reasons which I'll try and talk about now but um, I wouldn't do it if I didn't find it to be beneficial um, or if I didn't find, if or, or if I found that it kind of like ruined, not ruined, but like if I didn't think it was working for me. I have been doing Bulletproof coffee, coffee consistently almost every single morning since May. I think I started it after Sierra left. Yes, because I had just found KG around the time when Sierra came in May. So I think I started it middle of May. I know definitely by June. I mean, you guys don't really care. Anyways, I wouldn't be doing it just to say I do it. Um, I really do it because I find that it really helps me. It gives me a lot of energy. I honestly, like you guys know, I used to talk about how I was nauseous a lot in the mornings and not because of pregnancy, just because I was like nauseous. And I have not been really nauseous in a very long time. I mean, sometimes occasionally I, I'll be nauseous, but not regularly. It's also helped me immensely with cravings. I feel like when I have this, in the morning my cravings are really like have are really subsided throughout the day and I also um, a lot of people ask me like if I still count calories and stuff and that's totally a reasonable question because as you guys know I did calorie count for a long time um, and I really do like calorie counting um, in in a sense okay because when I when I calorie counted Oh, fuck. I hate when people put pamphlets on the car. Oh, okay. When I calorie counted the first time around, and I'm not going to go too into this because I know people have heard this story many times, but when I calorie counted the first time around, I was super obsessive, wouldn't go over the amount of calories, weighed myself every day. It was not healthy at all. When I started wanting to lose weight again, I did start calorie counting, um, but that was more to get myself on track, and now that I feel like I'm on track, I still loosely count my calories, but I kind of know how much I'm eating like in a day and I do pay attention to it, but it's not something that I'm like neurotic about. In terms of my Bulletproof coffee, I know a lot of people think that they have like upwards of 500 calories. The way I make, up, make it, I when I started, I put it all into my fitness pal to get an idea because of course I do want to pay attention. And my Bulletproof coffee has around 250 calories. If you are doing bulletproof the way that the founder like Dave Asprey says on his page then yeah it will be way more calories because he, I think he puts like two tablespoons of ghee a tablespoon of XCT oil and those are you know butter and oil sort of ghee, and, ghee is like clarified butter so that is like probably where a lot of the misconceptions come from about like how many calories are in the bulletproof coffee because absolutely if you're doing two tablespoons of ghee plus a tablespoon of MCT that is really high in calories but in mine I do a scoop of collagen half like a third of a scoop of the beef gelatin for just a little bit of extra creaminess I do a teaspoon of ghee a little capful of um, well a capful of the MCT oil the brain octane oil and I do maca and cinnamon or 
are some spices. Um, but if you add all that up, it is approximately 250 calories. So for me, that's totally fine. And I got some questions um, from people asking if I thought it would make them gain weight. Personally, okay, this is my whole um, theory on it, okay? If you are taking it how you should be taking it, which is as a meal replacement, this is gonna spill all over me. If you're taking it how you, how you should be taking it as a meal replacement, I don't think that you would gain weight. I have it in place of my breakfast, but if I would go and have another breakfast on top of that, and then a lunch and a dinner and snacks, then yeah, that's an extra 250-ish calories a day. But if you eat it proper, if you have it properly, like, not that I'm like the, like a guru or anything. I'm just saying that if you, I think that you would, you could gain weight if you were overeating in other areas of your life. At least that's how I feel. And believe it or not, I do get a lot of questions about Bulletproof. Um, if I think it's like what I think of it. And I also got a lot of questions about collagen because you guys know I have at least a scoop and a little bit every single day of collagen. So freaking annoying, that thing. Um, a lot of people ask how long do you notice, like, okay, well, a lot of people have asked me, do you notice a difference in your hair, in this and that? For me, I definitely notice a difference in my hair. It grows so fast now, which is why I'm going to get my hair done because my hair, my roots grow so fast. I used to only have to go maybe once or twice a year to get my roots like brought up a little bit because I do have a balayage, but I like my color to be melted and I don't like it to look too overgrown. And especially in the back, it can look a little bit overgrown. So. I have been going to get my hair done more often because my hair is growing so fast. So I definitely notice it. In my opinion, collagen is something that you need to take every day consistently. You know, if you buy the collagen peptides and then you use it once a week, like, I don't think you're gonna have as good of results as if you like ingest it every single day. So also it's not an instant thing. You need to take it consistently for like, I would say probably at least a month before you start noticing a difference. But the good thing about collagen is that you can put it in pretty much everything. Anyways, that's my little spiel because contrary to what people may think, I don't like to just hear myself talk about the same things all the time. I get a lot of the same questions and um, a lot of people who say that I talk about the same things over and over. <laughs> um, you might be a really dedicated viewer and watch all of my videos for whatever reason, but some people don't watch every single video. Some people might be new. So some people might have questions that you already know the answer to because you are such a dedicated um, viewer of mine, which I do appreciate. Okay guys, so I just left Christie's. We brought up the color a bit, blended it at the top because my hair grows really fast, like I said. Oh, I love having my fresh hair and we also brought it up in the back. <laughs> Maybe you can see, I don't know. I'm just gonna put on some of this Becca. I love this color. It's so good for every day. I love fresh hair. And I think my Tony's friend Nolan is a hairdresser and he wants to cut my hair. So I think we're gonna cut my hair tonight too. I know Christy is getting really busy with the holidays coming up and I was lucky to even be able to get an appointment because she's booking up really fast, especially with the holidays coming up. She said a lot of people are coming in for balayage. So if you wanna book an appointment, definitely do a quick I'll leave a link in the description box down below but you can see her prices online you can book online it's super easy well that's one of the reasons why I love going to her because I can book online I don't have to like call and deal with it I can just book in the convenience and the comfort of my own home on my phone and on the computer whatever <laughs> late night glam Hi. my face looks like I have rosacea I ran into the shower you probably can't hear anything but we cut a lot of hair and I look great oh my god look is that all that volume look at that volume <laughs> the bigger the hair the closer to God that's what they say I'm scared Nolan I cut like two inches That's nothing. it's gonna be fresh okay new year new me not new year yet I was gonna say it's not January <sighs> I look Amish right now. Hey guys, I probably looked really scared in that moment. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Do you notice anything different? Last night, Tony's friend Nolan cut my hair. 
he does Tony's blowouts and haircuts and everything. He always like wanted to cut my hair and I wasn't ready, but now I felt like I was ready to cut my hair. So we cut off like two inches and it looks like normal, like, like it looks like a good length right now. But like last night, like I told him exactly how long I wanted it. He cut it exactly where I wanted it, but my hair was super long. Um, and it was actually kind of fitting that I got a haircut because I just felt like, you know, like it was just kind of weighing me down. Like I had such long hair. I wanted something a little bit fresher. And so when I first saw it, I felt, I feel so bad. I'm going to text him when I get to school. I felt so bad because I feel like I couldn't even hide my shock on my face because it looks still really long, but like it's, it was way shorter than like my old hair. So I was like in a little bit of a shock. Like, you know, when you do like a bit, kind of a big change on your hair, even if you're ready for it and like you ask for it, like it could kind of be a little bit shocking. And so he felt so bad and I was like, no, like I love it. It's just like a little bit of a shock. Like, you know, when you are just like in shock a little bit, like I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, I felt really bad. I need to text him though because I love it. I feel like it's such a fresh length and I, I really like it. And yesterday when I got my color brought up a little bit in the back at Christie's, so I'm really loving my hair yesterday it was really kind of crazy um i got my hair done i had school i didn't go to school because i have a lot of work with um you know i had some youtube videos i needed to film the sephora sale is starting tomorrow on november 3rd today's november 2nd and i just had a lot i needed to do and i didn't have enough hours in the day to do it if i went to school and to go to school for an hour and a half. Listen, I'm looking into online schools at different universities because this whole schedule thing is really not working for me. I have this person on my che on my cheek. It looks really weird and when you put a little bit of highlight on it really like amplifies it. And I'm really excited because today I'm going downtown to see Dr. Sino, the doctor that did my surgeries on my boobs. I'm looking into getting a third boob job. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, I'm joking. Um, I, him and I have wanted to film a video together since my first surgery in 2015 and just never got around to it. So we're going to be doing a live and I'm probably going to save it, but by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be gone. But, um, I also wanted to get some lip injections. So I haven't had lip injections since February. And so I decided to go see Dr. Cena because... I really trust him. He's very good at like looking at your face and understanding what you want. And so I'm really excited to see him. I haven't seen him since my surgery in 2016. So I haven't seen him in a while. For those of you who don't know, I, I know I don't show my boyfriend and people are like, does he even exist? Like why is he, is he not on? I just made the decision to not put my boyfriend Mike on my channel. If he's in the background of a video or in Tony's vlog, it's not like I'm like, get him off of there, put a thing over his face. Like it's not a, it's not intense. Like it's not like a big secret. I just choose not to like put our relationship up for discussion or you know, I don't know like does that make any sense like I just chose not to put our relationship online like if he's in videos it's cool like I don't mind it's not like I'm trying to keep him a secret but I just I don't want to like I, he's not going to be a youtuber we're never going to have like an Ali and Mike channel like it's not in the cards he's a very shy guy very sweet very quiet I made the decision when people were non-stop commenting that he was mean and he never did anything like, people would comment he was mean as he was carrying my fucking couch in. So, not about that. How did I get on that right? Oh, so for those of you who don't know, my boyfriend Mike does not like lip injections. He doesn't think I need them, and I don't know. I think it's in his head. He just really doesn't like lip injections. So, I, uh, the last time I got them done in February, it was Valentine's Day of all days. I should not have done that on Valentine's Day. But I went and I got the, my lips done and he, I was a little swollen and so I was like, I turned off all the lights in my apartment and he was bringing over pizza um, from like our favorite restaurant and I, he was like, why are all the lights off? And I was like, oh, you know, like romance and he kissed me and he's like, what did you get done? So the jig was up and anyways, he knows I'm going today. I respect his opinion on things. Um, he's a very chill person so it's gonna be fine today is the day that you would want to spend at home in comfy pjs and not 
running around or getting ready <laughs> but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so it looks like it's nighttime but it's like 1 p.m. I'm not like the biggest lip injection person I don't want to look like a blow-up doll like I don't want to look like that for me it's really about bringing up my natural lip line and like making because I, I overline my lips so when I have lip injections I don't really need to do that so I'm excited y'all And if Tony's in charge of the camera, I'm sure she chose the worst possible angle for me. I'm excited because every other one I've tried has been like, not, has dissolved so fast. This one, I'm telling you, I have patients that came after two years and said, I've seen I just don't need it anymore. Oh wow. Everyone's different, everyone mm -hmm. feels differently. Do you feel like people should do Botox when they're younger to like prevent? So my first Botox, I was 27. Okay. But I did have a line starting. Because I noticed lines in my forehead. Yeah. But I feel like I'm only 22. I don't think I should start now. You know, I don't think it's an age thing. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on your face and how it's aging, how it's how the uh, wrinkles are coming. Mm -hmm. I do agree that Botox can't prevent wrinkles from happening. But I wouldn't do Botox if you have no wrinkles to start with. Okay. Only once you start those wrinkles will I suggest that you start with the Botox. Because sometimes I notice there's lines in my forehead. I don't know if you can see them. I see, I see one or two lines. When yeah. you have the resting skin lines, mm -hmm. uh, then that would be start Botox. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I started mine. When you got the resting lines. But I, I've only had maybe five times in my life, and I started at 27. Oh, okay. So you don't need that much. Are you ready, young lady? I am. Someone wants to know how you can reduce swelling and bruising after lip ice. <laughs> That's the answer. So we're putting ice prior to the intervention. This way it vasoconstricts all the vessels, so there's less bruising. That's why I don't have much bruising in my patients. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you, young lady. Okay. So I'm just wa washing it with some light alcohol. Removing any makeup. She, she really did that job for me. She wants to have a little bit more red show of her lips because she uses the liner for the lipstick to kind of increase that lip volume so that's what we're going to be giving her today so natural that i don't even want her mom to know <laughs> that we do strippers. that's my aim that's what i like yeah that's what my patients tell me even my husband or my boyfriend or my sister didn't notice that i had filler. i'm sure my boyfriend will notice <laughs> <laughs> okay so when i count when i count to three one two three big breaths in from the nose okay. and out from the mouth okay that's okay. when the needle will go in okay it's a very tiny needle that i use okay on the count of three one, two, three, big breath. I go slow. The slower we go, the less pain the patient has. So how was that so far? Really not painful. Okay, big breath in. One, two, and three. You look like it doesn't even hurt at all. It's really not. Well, she's a trooper. She's a very strong woman. I also just want to say that we didn't use a numbing cream or anything, and it's really yeah. not painful. I don't like using numbing cream. I don't know if it's just me but i feel like they make it swell that's what steph said that basically increases the collagen thickness and it makes it less wrinkly collagen okay, it's all <laughs> about the collagen <laughs> it really doesn't hurt it really doesn't hurt i'm shocked it hurts more like in the past places i've gone and i had not in korean welcome to the scene of experience <laughs> one two and three big breath okay put some pressure in the other here I'll, I'll hold okay. no they say they look really good Wow, they're gonna, it's swollen now though, right? Yeah. They look really good. They <laughs> look fantastic. When people don't know what lip fillers are, they're like, oh my god, she overdid it. I but I know half that. Half a CC. Yeah. And they're right there, you just got them done. You I need know, to, no, I I, that's exactly how I. That's very, very good. That's exactly how I overline it. Yeah. I'm very happy to hear that. Do you think we should add more? And are you Girl, we, we have half a CC more to go if you want. However, or yeah. I think we should wait. Yeah. Now, I've already used this in you, so this needle... That looks really good. It does. I don't <laughs> want to do anything. It looks really, really good. I'd rather, like, take it slow. Yeah, well, come, come, back yeah. And, come back in two weeks. Because you know that this will swell up again mm -hmm. in the next couple of days. Yeah. 10% more than what I injected. Mm -hmm. And then in two weeks, it's going to de-swell. Right. But 5% more than what there is today. Yeah. So the final re result will be a little bit more swollen. Yeah, I'm in shock that it's like Everyone exactly- Everyone says they look amazing. It's exactly what I wanted on the outside. Oh, and I've yeah. never been able to get that. 
he really him. gets it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Friday, and I didn't really finish up the vlog last night because um, I first went to go see Dr. Sino at like five, and then we left, and it was like almost eight, and then it was raining, pouring. We stopped and picked up Mandy's salad, and I didn't eat all day. Like, I just was, it was such a chaotic day for me because I woke up, got ready, finished filming and editing my Sephora VIB recommendations video, rushed to school, worked at school, then had to rush downtown. It was just a really chaotic day. So I had a, like a whole Mandy salad, and I think like, cause I ate so close to when I went to bed that my stomach was just like really upset in the morning. My lips are kind of swollen, not crazy. I mean, some people walk around looking like this all the time, but this is like first day, um, I have a slight bruising, but really nothing bad. It was my first time going to see Dr. Sino for my lips, and I don't know why I didn't think to go to see him for my lip. No, no, what was I saying? I Obviously, he did my two breast augmentations, um, and I just never thought to go to him to get my lips done. I think because I felt like in my head, I'm like, oh, he's like a plastic surgeon, but now that I've had my lips done by him, I'm like, I would really recommend going to see a plastic surgeon for your lips. His technique and everything was just the best by far. We didn't even have to use a full syringe. I thought that I was going to go in asking for a full syringe yesterday. So we, he told me that we didn't even use a full half of a syringe. So um, probably in two weeks I might go see just for a little bit, but I really would rather do things slowly than just like have huge lips right away. Uh, the, of course, this is the day after I got them done. I'm still swollen. I have no makeup on right now. Also, this is Starbucks. Welcome to Starbucks. Hi, can I have a uh, Grande Holiday Spice Flat White, please? We unfortunately don't have the ingredients yet to do the, the flat white yet, but we have pretty much all the other holiday drinks. Not even just a plain flat white? Plain flat white, sure. Yeah. What size? What grande? Uh, yeah, I'll do a mezzo, I guess. Okay. And I'll do it with almond milk. Almond milk? Yes. Perfect. Is that all? Um, is there any sweetener added in it? No. Okay, perfect. That's it. Perfect. So yeah. five ninety two. Okay, thank you. Um, they have like a turkey sandwich, like with stuffing. I love doing the live with Dr. Sino. You guys asked so many amazing questions. I'm sure we're gonna do more in the future because there are so many more questions than we could even answer. The powder that we need for the... The holiday spice? Yeah. Okay. We haven't got it yet. That's it's fine. Coming, okay. Oh, is it too late to ask them to sprinkle some cinnamon in it? No. Okay, no thank you. I had like, I don't know, it looks very noticeable on camera. I'm gonna do a face mask when I get home. I've been wearing so much makeup this week because I've been filming like nonstop. There's slight bruising here. Oh, that's pretty much it. I was so excited that you guys liked the live and tuned in. So um, I think we're gonna do more of those answering questions. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Another reason why I wanted to come get a cup today. <laughs> Oh, marketing, eh? How precious are these holiday cups? I know some people get their panties in a twist over them because they're like, I don't even know. Like, who the fuck cares? You're throwing these cups out in the trash. Like, I don't get why people are so wound up about paper cups. But I think that this design is so cute. Ooh, that's good. I'm on my way to the mall to run into Sephora. I also wanted to run into Erie and get more of those pajama pants that I bought because they are so comfortable. Normally, I place my orders on Sephora.com but I don't know, I'm not planning on placing a big order, so I figured I might as well just go into the store. Oh my God, my nose is itchy. I might as well just go, go into the store and uh, see, see what they have. And I think I, I'm only gonna get the Tatcha mask and maybe a few other things, but um, definitely not a lot. My mom asked me to get her a lip gloss and I don't know. I was gonna go after class today, but like I just, I didn't go to class. This is one of my favorites right now. Unfortunately, it's an Ulta exclusive. So you can only get it at Ulta, um, which sucks because it's such a good color. But this is Becca Cafe Ole. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and I just finished getting ready on Instagram Live. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you for watching the vlog. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how I ended the vlog yesterday or the day before, so I wanted to actually 
say goodbye. All information of things I showed or people I showed, places I went, what I'm wearing, whatever I can leave information for, I will leave it in the down bar down below. As for my lips, I got them done on Thursday. It is now Saturday. They are a little swollen, but I think that they're gonna look great. I'll keep you guys updated for sure. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram and saw the live that I did with Dr. Sino, I'm sure that we will be doing more in the future because you guys enjoyed it so much and we're asking really, really great questions. And I know that Dr. Sino was into it as well. So we will be doing more of those in the future. Maybe I should show you guys what I got at the Sephora VIB sale. I also placed an order online, but in the meantime, I'll show you what I got um, like yesterday when I went to the mall. Like I said I was gonna get, I got the Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. I used it last night and I really liked it and it is like the prettiest color, so I picked that up. I also got this, this is the Bare Minerals, oh I have some on my nail. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in the color five. That's what I'm wearing on my face today. A little goes a long way, I didn't know that. So next time I use it, I will use less, but I'm really liking it so far and it looks really, really good on my skin. I also got a new beauty blender because I was like, all of mine are so old and believe it or not, I did not have a pink one. So I got a new beauty blender and I used it today. And I got this for my mom. It's the Dior Lip, why is it not focused? Dior Lip Maximizer. Not focused, but that's what I got for her. And then I ordered a bunch of stuff online. So I'm going to call it a vlog. I'm going to edit this last little clip so I can post it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I would love to know what you've picked up so far from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale if you have shopped the sale. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.